Hello, welcome back to another game, Titans of Arena. We are in the Switch stage round three, and this is the deciding game in the best of five between Metal and Stefan and Back Team Slam. So it's going for the seeding. All teams will advance to the quarterfinals. Those have been played already, or most have been. Some are still to be played. And we have Metal playing in Indian as Indians, and Stefan as the Teutons here against Slam is Berbers and Back Team Koreans. Interesting sift matchup. Let's see how this is going. Start with the maps here. Metal with the main gold. Relatively safe in the back actually. Got deer inside close to the berries. This is awesome. Main stone in the back. And the second stone also backwards. This looks good for him. Second gold outside. The third gold. I don't know. This is an extra gold. Where is that one? It's forward outside. But towards Stefan even. So that's alright I guess. And we have Stefan playing as the Teutons with the main gold. Pretty safe as well. It's in the back. We have deer inside for him too, which is awesome. Actually, one, two, three, four relics around their base. This one may be close to the slam, but they could get the relic advantage here. Main stone forward. I guess this is the third gold outside, second stone outside. And what else? Did I miss something? I don't know. But looking good so far, second gold actually inside for him. Which brings us to Slam. Slam is the Berbers here. Berbers really strong, unique unit. I think we're going to see Camel Arches in the game. Deer inside, second gold. And yeah, that's in the back actually. It's closed here, so very safe. Main gold forwardish, second stone outside but towards back. That's good. Main stone and third gold forward. But I think that's not a big problem for him. His base should be uh, easily de defendable. And I guess we might see Castle come up somewhere around here because they're pretty close. And with Berbers, I imagine Slam could go aggressive. Here. Let's go to Bakhti. Bakhti got the Koreans. Very interesting civilization because it's more or less a one trick pony when it comes to towers and then later post Imperial Age fights. I don't think we're going to see a tower rush, but everything is possible. Main stone for Bakhti safe in the back here. We have deer inside for him as well. Second stone inside, main gold forwardish. Not too nice. Second gold forward outside and third gold towards slam, so that's alright. I think they should be able to defend this. We have one extra gold here. I don't see any extra resources other than that three tile extra gold, but it doesn't really matter so much here because we're expecting to see trade later on. And Bakhti clicking up to feudal age. He's clicked up at 6.45. That's a 19 population. Did he do loom? Yes, he did loom. So that's an 855 uptime, and that means only one thing. We have a tower rush coming up against the 1800 HP walls, and of course 2k 750 gates. But, and this cannot even be hopped, so I'm not sure about this strategy from Bakhti. Going for tower rush here, did you see the, the uh, that, tree, uh, that the tree is there? He cannot really hop in. I don't know if he can cut this. It, I think it's possible. He could cut this and then go with the market top back here a little bit late, send the villagers a little bit late. But here goes the first tower, not even going for that um, corner gate, but going for a tower next to that and starting to attack the walls, I guess. Metal quickly walling the corner with the houses, but he doesn't really need to apparently. And what else? Is he going to wall more? Because it's going to take quite some time to go through these walls. I guess not. And Metal, of course, talking already to Stefan. I guess they're not in team speak, so we're going to see a little bit of chat in the recorded game file here. Is Metal actually starting to wall? Yes, a few palisades coming up. I was actually saying, okay, the wall's going down pretty fast, even with 1800 HP, but the villagers are, have a good attack against the walls. And more palisades on the way, three villagers. I think metal should be fine here. We have back T, of course, with a very small economy here. He's going for the deer, not even luring them in. He needs the scout at the front. Maybe he could have done that, but then he wouldn't have the scout that he needs. Actually, double palisades coming up here. Other players advancing to Feudal Age, and back T is housed on 25. Something that should not happen, but all right. We have metal, 650 food, 660 food in the bank. He should be able to click up to Castle Age in a very reasonable time here despite the fact that he's defending from a trash and he has even enough wood for market and blacksmith if, if he wants to but the next tower coming up so maybe he's gonna stay in feudal age a little bit longer uh, the market coming up and there is a few palisades the korean watchtower is going up really fast with five villagers and of course and back T is going to try and put as much pr pressure on metal as possible there. I cannot talk again. Let's see for Stefan who is on the way to Castle Age with two tents. Got five farms up and running. Is he going for any military units right now? No. A few houses coming up. Really nice natural wall coming up here in front of his TC. Walling out the main stone but I think that's not a big problem. He's got four ridges on gold so I imagine we might see a monastery coming up. We have Slam on stone. Six villagers so he will be able to go over the castle and he will be up 
15 minutes 04, that's 28 villagers tops, yeah, 27 actually. Did he lose the scout? I guess so. Maybe the scout fight with Stefan. Yes, Stefan scout on 5 HP, Slam lost the scout. He's with 5 villagers on gold as well. This looks like an aggressive build order. He may come into support back here against Metal. In the game before that one, I know, we saw Stefan and Metal double attacking Bacti in Castle Age and Bacti lost quickly, pretty quick here. So maybe Bacti thought, let's go aggressive this time, that means I'm safe in my own base and uh, let's try and put pressure on Metal this time. Monastery coming up from Stefan. We have Bacti not really inside, but almost. Metal is on the way to Castle Age, almost there. What is he going to do? I guess we're going to see Siege Workshop any, uh, immediately. Yeah, and maybe a TC coming up somewhere. I'm not sure about that. Um, back T is doing wheelbarrow right now, 17 minutes, and uh, finishing at 17 minutes. And we are going to see him try to click up the castle like, as soon as possible. He's got four, five towers coming up, the fifth tower on the way. Siege Workshop is up to get a manganel, but we know as soon as Bacti hits Castle Age, we will get a really nice advantage, and he's actually clicked up, look at that uptime, 1949, really nice, uh, clicking up with only 19 villagers, was it I think, 18 villagers, and now he is on the way to Castle Age, this will be dangerous of course, the manganel will get attacked now by the tower here, Metal will try to repair that manganel, Let's see if he can get it down, at the same time, yeah, looks like Stefan found out about the camel archers from Slam here, Slam is moving out of the monastery with a monk here to grab a, re a relic and he's going with the camel archers, fletching coming in, the question is can he do damage on metal space or is he going for Stefan here because he needs to do something with the camel archers, I think he will try and grab as many relics as possible, there's one close to Bacti actually, and the others, as we said, around Stefan's space more or less. And Fletching also on the way from Bacti now. Bacti lost one of the towers, but the five villagers still inside. And can he get, uh, take down a villager? Is Bacti focusing on a villain? No, the villagers are actually going back. But Castle Age coming in anytime soon. That means Scar Tower upgrade immediately. And I think the plus one range should come in as well. Let's check. I think that was a bonus from the Koreans. And here we go, yes, 8 plus 2 guard tower upgrade automatically, and that means the mangonels will take a lot of damage now from those towers, and I think Metal, yeah, he's repairing the two villages already, he might have a hard time to actually take down all the towers here. Back T, are you going to uh, do any economy, are you going for extra TCs? No, not at all, I think he has almost enough stone for a forward castle, not yet, but maybe soon, mangonel on the way if he wasn't housed. And another tower going down, but now those guard towers should be quite strong against the Manganel. We have Slam, as I can see, going in, I guess that was Pietard, and trying to do damage with the Camel Archers. There are two monks, that means we should see at least one conversion here. Yes, Stefan's uh, successfully converting one of those. Stefan, of course, ahead in villages 58 against 44, so he's the one who had a free mini boom and three TCs for now. And he's defending with the Manganel, the monks. I think he should be fine here, unless uh, Slam is going with a lot of... Archers. This is even open, but no, uh, Stefan saying I don't need to go there. This could be hopped, which might be an interesting option for Slam, but he's going around only to find that, uh, yeah, now he's walling that Stefan is fully walled. So uh, it's not easy to go in there. Loom and Wheelbarrow coming up from Slam right now. Another Watchtower and Ogar Tower coming up from Bacti on Metal Space. Metal has a second TC on the main gold with a lot of farms around but no third TC yet. And he should still be ahead of Bacti I guess. 10 villager difference. But Bacti of course going aggressive again. Going with the Gar Tower. He's got a Manganel now. And he should be able to trade one for one here maybe. Uh, we have Slam trying to do the damage but no chance. And this Slam is not sending a villager. I'm a little bit disappointed. I would love to see like a quick tree hop here and go into the camel arches to do more damage. Slam maybe needs some manganels too. He's got the monks to actually uh, heal up the camel arches, but Stefan is fine. He maybe he was expecting this. He was house walling before, and now he just finished his house wall. He's going for the second gold right now, manganel to protect. And we can see that uh, Stefan and Slam have less action than Metal and Bacti, of course. Um, we have Handcart coming in from Slam, but Stefan on the way up to Imperial Age Castle coming up from metal now and Bacti is sending more manganels 521 stone so he could go for a castle soon but he is building more towers he's actually hopping through that little 
a little corner and give it to the mark in the house only to get another guard tower up and maybe to stop the castle is this castle going up here oh and you open the vault so the camel arches from uh, slam going in this is a really important moment in this game because we might see metal the titanic but the castle is going up the camel arches are facing too many mangonels they cannot stop this castle and now i think the guard towers won't do, uh, do too good metal actually able to take down one of the mangonels here and back to has enough stone for a castle where to put that castle yeah and here's part one finishing so let's go to part two here goes we have the castle up we are seeing the guard tower going down actually there is a mangonel forward i guess this is the three villagers inside four actually from back to you and mangonels coming in from metal to take down one mangonel for free so actually metal for now able to defend quite successfully and their population metal and stefan looking a lot better there's a castle coming up from back to you now Ooh, can you get that up this could be dangerous because the mangonels are moving forward and 72 hp on that castle and it's down oh my god did back to he lost the castle this is huge damn it look at this back to 650 stone wasted that was not a good deal and right now metal in a, with a huge advantage here let's see if he can actually get rid of back to inside his base for uh, uh, completely he's got a watchtower up just in case i guess and we can see he's mining the main gold Mm, sorry, so let's go to the other side because I think with that castle not going up back to his push might be stopped almost completely back to resources looking all right, but uh, His push right now not too successful. We have on all uh, up for Stefan and Halberd is a really strong combination on arena and in general I guess against Kemla Arches we might see siege on later on if uh, slam is actually able to Keep enough, ca enough castles up. He's got two right now, so he can produce a lot of camel arches. Slam is up to Imperial Age Bracer, Husbandry Chemistry coming in. And Double Siege Workshop coming up for Stefan outside his base. He's also going for Bombard Cannons. Very important to see. Uh, Monk still waiting. And the camel arches. What are you going to do? I think Slam needs something against the Halberdiers. And the question is, what is it going to be? Because camel arches in the long run won't do the trick. Stefan resources looking decent. He's got enough stone for a castle. Maybe we're going to see a castle on that gold. Is that Stefan's gold? Actually, I think so. And yeah, Slam's gold outside. Um, we have Slam, good resources, chemistry, Peter Archer, armor conscription coming in. He is going for Archer Rangers, not producing anything. Maybe we're going to see Hand Cannoneers here against the Helps. That would make sense. Elite Skirmishers, maybe not the right choice against the Onagers and Bombard Cannons here. Castle coming up behind the gold. Metal is up to Imperial Age. Ooh, and Slam going in with the Camel Archers. Didn't even see that, but of course, Metal Space is open, so Slam can actually do some damage here. Metal is on 72 villagers let's check in a minute or two because his economy right now pretty idle here we have oh, only four idle villagers but uh, a lot of idle farms so metal quickly going on stone how's the stone count looking for him it doesn't have really uh, stone siege workshop coming up and three tcs right now four tcs in total chemistry away from metal as well on the right on the top side or left hand side let's call it like that for slam spaces we see stefan a lot of military units and slam right now cannot use this camel arches to defend so maybe Stefan could be able to push here uh, slam could go out but I think metal will try to get a few military units up and then just uh, go get rid of these camel arches he's now using the trebuchets to get rid of the rest of the guard towers which isn't a big problem I think and but you need to get your economy fixed you need to get some military units out i imagine camels imperial camels might be really good against the camel arches here or i'm not sure what the indians could do hand cannoneers of course is an option here i think the ballista no not ballista elephants the uh, archer elephants are they called like that elephant archers they are really not an option here and back to helvetius conscription coming in he's up to imperial age he's doing barracks so he's going aggressive on metal metal was not able to breathe here and i think stefan should send us some of the but yes, but maybe metal just saying yeah i'm fine uh go and attack slam stefan's resources looking really good slam camel archer production still going with two castles no third castle on the way as far as i can see no actually i'm i'm wrong here that's the third castle on the way a lot of fan cannons and not so many camel arches around bomber cannons fighting against trebuchets here like yes stefan lost the castle here and slam is trying to repair as long as he can i think Siege Archer is done, and right now Slam is able to defend, but Siege Archer's Helvetius is a really, really strong combination, even against the Berbers here. 
the Camel Archers. Not sure if are the Camel Archers elite? No, not elite. So, ooh, that's not good between two TCs and now Bomber Cannons attacking those Camel Archers. This won't be easy for Slam to save and I think he should have just gone back, but that's too late now. Of course, Bacti lost a lot of those guard towers that keeps now. And another cast is up for Metal RTS here. Metal 4 trebuchets. He could move out now and try to get rid of all the forward here. And I think then Bacti and Slam might be in trouble here. We have um, Slam with three casters now up trying to go for his third gold. This is not easy to do because there's a lot of action here. And the next cast is getting attacked by trebuchets. Hand cutting is a Camel Archers moving out, but well, there's the Siege on the and Slam right now only ranged units. I think he should have gone for champions maybe, 200 swordsmen. This would be really good against what Stefan is producing, which is Helbidius and Siege on the Siege on you can snipe them with the Bombard Cannons. And then champions against Helbidius. Hand cutting is really good, but only as long as uh, Stefan uh, will, won't have Siege on around and right now. Siege on are doing good damage. And with the trebuchets, of course, Slam has to invest a lot of stone here. That means he won't be able to get a castle number four up easily. Maybe with the help of, of Bacti, could sling him a little bit if Bacti is not going for like bomber towers. That would be awesome. We have Helbidius on the field, of course, also for him. And looks like Slam and Bacti uh, catching up to Stefano Metal RTS when it comes to the uh, score here. But three bomber cannons from Metal able to take down a trebuchet here. There's actually an Elephant Archer right now on the field, but I don't think we're going to see that as the main army. We have Bacti now moving out to take the extra gold, and it looks like Stefan is gaining more and more map control. Here, best population for him, 170, only 26 military units, but that's 144 villages. That's a lot here. Slam with good resources, he's still producing Camel Archers, but he lost the castle now, that means only two castles remaining. And he's still going for those Camel Archers, which are not elite, and that's something I don't really like. I think Slam should have elite by now. Maybe he knows he has to switch one sooner or later, so it's not worth to go to delete Camel Arches. He's in danger of losing another castle. And I think, yeah, castle up here from Stefan. He will be able to go more and more trebuchets if he wants to. And he will be able to take down the castle sooner or later. Uh, provided that he can keep his Siege Oranges up. And maybe Bacti should come to the left hand side, try to go Siege Oranges as well, try to help here. But it's like two one we ones right now. And Bacti is gaining more and more map control. Bacti even trying to go, get a keep up here. I don't think this is going to happen. And we are going to see Manganels now against these um, trebuchets, but two bomber cannons as well. What happened in the village? Ah, there is something on the field. And Stefan is moving one more to, to the middle, trying to surround Slam, maybe. Mm, I hope that's better. Siege Workshop coming up for metal here or not? Looks like he's not able to actually go to Stefan to help him. And he's going with Archer Ranges now. We're going to see Hand Cannoneers. Shatakni done already? I guess so. Yes, yeah, 7 plus 1. But they are not able to trade. 45 minutes into the game, there won't be a, a safe trade line. And we do see keeps coming up from. Uh, back to actually to stop any potential trade. Of course, Stefan is saying, nope, this is not going to happen. I'm going with the trebuchets here. But uh, that means trading won't be easy for them. For Slam and back to it should be a lot easier. Back to actually preparing markets already. Slam does not have the markets up yet. I guess back to will uh, call for those markets very soon. And back to is also moving into the middle, but more on Stefan's and uh, more metal side. Stefan moving to the middle, more on Slam side. This could be really interesting. And looks like Slam is about to lose that castle. Does he have stone left? I guess he needs to buy stone. Yeah, that's 60 stone remaining. But there is still one trebuchet. Siege Orange is moving forward, taking on the trap now. And two trebuchets hitting that castle. That means Slam, I think, will lose the castle now. He's buying stone, which is really expensive, obviously. And he's still trying to keep his camel archer and now genitor production up. Elite genitors are gonna be decent against the uh, Helbrius and even okayish against the Siege Archers, I imagine, if you're on the open field. The castle finally going down, Slam going back to take the gold, but this won't be easy. And Stefan can just produce so many Helbrius. He still should have a good amount of resources here, yeah, a lot of food and food in the bank. But still no trade for them, and that's a big problem in my opinion. They should have started the trade already. Do we have trade for... Uh, yes, three trade cards for Bacti, so actually Bacti saying let's start a trade. Looks like Bacti has recovered really well from that uh, halfway failed tower rush, I feel, because in a 1v1 this, this could have been deadly. 
but like this with Stefan and Slam battling on the other side and uh, Metal recovering. It's a really interesting game so far and we are seeing a lot of action on the left hand side. Ooh, big siege on the shot here from Stefan. I will miss one or, uh, one or two of those in every game. If the game is going on with the siege on the shot, you're uh, expecting that and I'm expecting that. So sorry for that. Maybe you've seen the games live and saw, uh, maybe you've seen a good siege on the shot. Which I didn't. But that's really not the biggest problem here. And now Metal actually joining the fight with the hand cannoneers and, and even using the trebuchets he had to take down buildings. Another cast is up for Stefan, uh, securing his gold. He's got two trebuchets left as well. And Slam suddenly in trouble. But on the other side, we have um, uh, Metal being in trouble a little bit at least because uh, back to 57 military units and he is pushing forward. He's not, yeah, actually he's attacking the castle now and he's attacking uh, Metal Space by that. A keep with 13 range, making sure that uh, so those farms are really not so secure. And that means back to actually dominating on the right hand side. You can see the score difference uh, is growing a little bit. And now Slam losing the, uh, the last castle he had. That means no more Kamla Archers. And this means Stefan and Metal should be able to push Slam here, which is happening already. Helbert is moving in for the upgrade, of course. And Slam may need to run here. He needs to find a way to defend from the hell with his hand can his siege on a chest. This is not going to be an easy task. He's doing light cap right now. How's the resources looking for him? He's got a good amount of wood in the bank and the food, but not so much gold. Enough gold to get a bombard cannon. Now he's got four relics, but he's about to lose that monastery, I think. He is still trying to defend with the Camel Archers and Elite Genitors. He can produce those. But the Helm is moving in now. And Elite Genitors will go down quite fast to the Helm the Camel Archers, or Camel Archers might be better. On the right hand side though, Bacti is dominating and uh, Metal is not able to breathe there. At least 72 villages only. He needs more of them. He needs more economy. He has a lot of space around for farms here, which he could do right now. But I think he's busy um, uh, doing some, uh, putting up some defenses. And Bacti now only 32 military units. So right now Metal got more. But I think Metal is also attacking here in Slam Space. They will try to um, take down slam as far as they can we are 57 minutes into the game i don't see a winner here right now slam and back to you are looking better but stefan still one of the three villages 187 population so he's got a lot of things to offer back to though 136 villages as well so he's fully boomed right now and they have a trade running with nine trade cards against still zero from metal and stefan and that's one big problem here i think they should have started to trade maybe even from here like put a market here and try to secure this area, but Stefan is not focusing on that area at all. He is just using the elite skirmishers, helmets, and siege launchers or siege units to try and fight this. And for now, he's been quite successful because Slam is not looking too well here. 107 villagers, it's not too much. Back to now paying tributes to Slam because Slam doesn't have so many resources. Slam will happily take these and probably go for more siege units here. Bumble on the way, another siege workshop coming up. He has lost the, uh, the relic control, but he's got another monastery up. Who got those relics? I think Stefan might try and go for those, or maybe back to well, I don't know. The uh, elite janitor is now moving back, and look at this. Stefan is moving more and more in between the two players. He might be able to stop the trade soon, and if he's stopping the trade, then they might have a good chance to come back from this. Metal on the other side, not looking good, not able to recover yet, and he's doing pike and elite skirmishes as well. Doesn't have a lot of gold, I guess. Let's check for the gold counts here. Yeah, he's very low on everything he needs more villagers he needs more economy and maybe one trap to take down these keeps to get his economy a little bit safer but he doesn't even really have wood and let's see could stefan give him some wood stefan's resource is quite low now as well uh, considering that we are in post imperial age and he's got a good economy with only 127 villages now a lot of family is on the 67 military units and the trade is actually dying look at this this is very important to see metal and the fun are killing the trade from yeah basically back to two trade cards from uh, the both uh, two tyrants and we see slam now moving to the other side i think that's a really nice decision he will be able to get up economy here because this is more or less the safest spot on this map right now metal is still trying to defend he's moving out now with the lead skirmishers and he is gaining a little bit of ground he's trying to mine his gold but now Hazar is moving from back to take down elite skirmishers. This will be good. The pikemen will be okay against those. Slam is with 103 villagers, so he's not as uh, far down as we expected. And he's still collecting relics. 
It's got a full relic back, but the Albany is now moving in. And what do we see inside Slam Siege Workshops? Is there some. Oh, some working like this? Uh, some ramps now getting created. Battering ramps, not bombard cannons any longer, but I guess battering ramps will be more important here. This is a very crazy game, in my opinion. Now, Slam actually putting up markets to get a better set and safer trade line. I think that's a really nice idea. Of course, uh, Back T is adding a few markets to get make that trade line safer. And Slam, let's see how the markets are looking here. 46 gold for. Um, I don't really get it. I uh, want to switch players. Yeah, that's 27 gold only for uh, when it comes to back to you. Let's see. A little bit surprised here. But it's going to be a decent trade line. On the left hand side, Slam is totally cut off from back to you apparently because Metal is moving in. He's building more barracks and he's now starting to attack uh, back to his base even. At the same time, they still don't have a trade line and I think back to will now try to move into Metal space. The trade is starting to work. Turbochet now comes coming up on the left hand side from back here to take down more buildings. I think these TCs, one, two, and those few buildings won't stand for too long. And this is just beautiful. I want to quickly switch... Is that not working? It should work. Caps not on, it works? No, not even now. Uh, let's go to Stefan. I want to quickly go old cheat to show you where Stefan is on the map and where back here and Slam are actually uh, seated. So, uh, that no trade is a problem. Now you can see battering rams moving in, elite skirmishers and a lot of them to make sure that the trade is never happening. Stefan still only with battering rams with helbius and elite skirmishers. So no more gold units except the siege runs of course. And now Slam is moving in with a lot of elite janitors to make sure that this push is getting stopped once and for all. Back to 90 villagers, but 12 crates, trade guards already. And he's on 195 population. He is pushing metal here and I think Metal uh, will be totally cut off from Stefan. This might be a big problem. Light cap coming in from Metal, but it's almost too late, I think. 58 villagers. Metal somehow wasn't able to recover, and this is a huge part of the game. The second part is the trade. Stefan still decent resources. Let's check for Slam. Slam actually with 2k. Uh, wood, almost 2k food, with a decent economy on both sides of the map, and with a working trade now for back to uh, Slam also going for a few trade cards here, that's 12 to none at this point in the game, and that means back to will have more gold to get any units he wants when it comes to gold, I guess Bombard Cannons is a good idea, or Rams might be an option, he didn't go for the Siege on line, but let's be honest, he didn't really need it, he's uh, producing a lot of elite skirmishers, going on another Siege Workshop forward, and he will be able to take down Metal, I think. And Stefan wasn't fast enough to kill Slam. Slam was able to recover. Going with a lot of um, those archer ranges in the middle right now. And the trade uh, still running. I think this might be the game from Bakhti and Slam. Bakhti was down quite some time in this game. But he came back and Slam was able to hold against the Teutons against Stefan here. Long enough to make sure that uh, Bakhti actually recovering. And Bakhti was never stopping the push I feel. He once the push was stopped and he lost that castle which was a really uh, big downer. He was able to recover getting a castle up in the barracks here. And since then. Metal wasn't able to push back back here. Metal was trying to help out on the left hand side against Slime. But it didn't happen. You can see Stefan still trying to go into Backy's base. He's actually successfully doing that. But as long as the trade line is working, I think Backy will be fine. He should have enough economy on this right hand side. And I think he will be able to send more units. Or maybe we're just going to see elite skirmishes and elite genitors from Slam trying to defend from this. I think that's the perfect counter against the Helvetius. Only the Rams could do damage, but then again, there's a just back to asking for a market here and Slam is actually starting to build a market. Look at this, it, metal space on the right hand side, Stefan's on the left and in between them in the middle there will be Slam's market. This is just amazing. I think Stefan probably low on everything right now. Yes, not looking good for him. He doesn't have gold, he cannot go for more siege units. Only Helbodius on the field, this is not going to be enough. He needed the siege, maybe siege orangers, maybe heavy scorpions even would be good. But not happening here. And I'm pretty sure back T and Slam will be able to actually take the game now. Metal is on 46 villages only, population 62. Metal is pretty much dead when it comes to a 1 hour 17 minutes game. And uh, I think big reason is back to here, never stopping the push and able to recover. He was playing really well in this game, not losing the castle was bad but it didn't change the game apparently or it didn't change it enough and Slam was able to defend for a long long time against Stefan before Stefan actually was able to do some damage but then again Bakhti was there and 
this game, one of the best, probably a nice preview to the semi-finals where those teams of the top four meet again. There's the TG being called. We have um, Bakhti and Slam, the top four, Stefan and Metal, Eddie Doubt, Miguel, and then the brothers, Fionor and Melkor. Really, really strong performances so far, and I'm really looking forward to that. Quarterfinals already been played, a few of them. Uh, four, three or four quarterfinals, I think three, will be played later today, um, the day I'm uploading this video. So I hope you enjoyed this game. Bakhti and Slam in the end dominating. Stefano the highest score expected, but it takes two in these two videos to win a game. And in this case, Slam and Bakhti, it was really late for Bakhti to be honest. He was up for quite some time, it was like 3 a.m. or something like that, but he was playing really well here, coming back and winning this game. Hope you enjoyed this. See you next games. Chi-chi.